All right, you guys, so we are here at the Marietta uh, Confederate Cemetery. We just got done putting a flag on George, who was killed at the Battle of New Hope. Uh, and then we have a, another fellow right here of the 54th uh, Georgia Infantry. Uh, he was killed June 27th, 1864. Uh, so that would be the Battle of Kennesaw, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but a little bit of backstory of the Marietta Confederate Cemetery. Uh, the Marietta Confederate Cemetery was actually established in 1863 uh, when 20 Confederates was actually killed in a train wreck uh, just north of Marietta in a town called Emerson, Georgia. Um, and then after the Civil War, more than 3,000 soldiers was uh, buried in this cemetery. Um, now, by uh, or in 1902, the soldiers that was moved from the battlefields to here, they were with wooden wooden crosses or wooden stakes that had their name on it. But due to you know constant weathering and stuff like that the names would eventually be erased from those crosses or those markers which ultimately had them become unknown soldiers um, but with the help of you know everybody working together and trying to preserve our history just like the scv uh, a lot of these soldiers are starting to be identified and we are able to put names uh, with soldiers and giving you know this man right here it was probably an unknown soldier um, but now he has his name to be told, um, you know, and that could have been the help with somebody that realized that they were an ancestor, uh, and they, they wanted to know who their ancestor was, the battles that he occurred in and, and where he died, um, when he was defending his home here in Georgia. Um, and that's what a lot of people get a lot of misconnect, misconnection with the whole civil war. Um, that it was just over slavery, which it wasn't. It was just Confederate soldiers, more or less, defending their homes because the North was invading their homes and they were threatening to destroy their homes and take away their 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 source of food and um, and way of living. Uh, and um, unfortunately, it went four years and over 600. 600,000 men on both sides combined died in this four-year battle, this four-year war. Um, and now me and my wife, we go out here and we constantly are trying to bring this history to everyone and let everybody know the true history of the Civil War and what it means to us and our family. Um, we love both sides. We're not, we, we don't pick sides. Uh, so we're not just about Confederacy and we're not just about the Union. We love both. Um, and if you understand that most Confederates was actually friends with the Union. Uh, a lot of them was hanging out with each other. A lot of them just got back from the Mexican-American War together before this happened. Um, and also, there's a lot of things that happened prior to the Civil War. And this is where I like to try to tell people that the slavery thing wasn't just the only issue with the uh, Civil War and slavery later came towards the end of the war um, You've had the Dred Scott case. You had the Missouri Compromise of 1850 um, you had the The Western expansion from the territories that we gained from the Mexican-American War So as you can see there's a lot of things that was brewing and bubbling over um, but I think the straw that broke the camel's back uh, was the election of 1861 when President Lincoln went into office threatening the South that he was going to raise a volunteer, a volunteer army of 70,000 troops to invade the South. And the South didn't take that kindly. And, and eventually led to the firing of Fort Sumner. And we know what happened after that. And there's a lot of skirmishes and a lot of people uh, that was killed um, in big battles or skirmishes. Um, I know a lot of people that watch my videos have ancestors that fought in the Confederacy as well as the Union. Uh, my wife has a ancestor that fought in the 12th South Carolina. I'm still trying to locate mine, but it doesn't matter. I love history. I love sharing the history. Uh, I love teaching everyone. 
Um, right there is Kentucky. Uh, right there is Georgia. As you can see, a lot of this cemetery is set up like Soldiers Rest in Mississippi, or in Vicksburg, Mississippi, where they had each sex, each section um, for each state. Uh, but we're gonna continue walking through um, and trying to see what else we can find. Um, we got a guy right here that was with the 46. Um, so he was uh, June of 1864, so probably the Atlanta campaign as well. Um, then you have your second national and your battle flag. Um, and then eventually you had the third national, which was just a straight big red line at the end of the second. Only because the second national eventually kind of looked like a surrender flag. Uh, so they didn't want anybody to think that they were surrendering. Um, then you have Lieutenant Colonel uh, Joseph H. Hamilton of Phillips, Georgia League. Um, and then this one, I'm not really sure. Unfortunately, it, his tombstone is broken half, but it does look like uh, he, he, we lost him in 1864. Uh, so probably during the Atlanta campaign as well. Um, a lot of these men... Um, then you have your cannon right there. There's your Confederate um, monument. Uh, also, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the video, or subscribe to the channel. Excuse me. Subscribe to the video, or subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps me out a lot to be able to continue doing the journeys that I do, and I know that you guys are engaged with what I'm doing. Um, and I always like to reach out to my subscribers too if they have stories and they want to share it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below as well. Look at that tune, so. In the world? That one's about to fall. Why is there a hole in the world? I don't know. Then you got the state of Louisiana right here. I'm, I'm trying to think, is that what that means? So they had 70. 78 people from Louisiana over here? Maybe? Is that what? I wonder if that's what that means. That they had 78 people from Louisiana. Because it Could says be. heroes? Yeah. I'm, I'm just, 78. I, yeah. 78 of them. Then there was 116 of Georgia. Why is there a hole in the ground? I, I don't know. Unless if it's like a. Oprah or something that came by. A you what? Know? Hey, my state, Florida. Oh. I had 19 here. So, here's Florida. The sunny side up state. Yeah. Fix <laughs> the flag so we can fly. So, they had 19 here. Wait, are these the 22 that I was telling people at the beginning, remember, that died in that train wreck, Probably. starting down? That's first sergeant right there. So we'll go down. Looks like they're mostly uh, Georgia. I think that's Georgia's artillery. I'm not sure. But that is an artillery group. 22nd Georgia artillery. Hey, look, third Florida. Oh, that's cool. Confederate veterans died at Soldier's Home. Yeah, I got that. Confederate Calvary. Huh. But it broke off. Huh.
Yeah, most of these, like that you see right there, those ones are just unknown. Unknown soldiers? Yeah. That's a cadet. He just got out of military college. 11th, Georgia. There's a couple right there. You can zoom in on those. Yeah, I have an amazing wife that helps me out. Who's you? Look, the Virginia Light Artillery. I do have an amazing wife. South Carolina Calvary. Sutherland. Sutherland. Snell, Snell Grove. George W. Russell. Presley. Presley? Yep. Wow. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, these are all unknown right here. Hey, look, Georgia Marine. Get these guys' names because I like to do it because a lot of people might um, have ancestors. I like to connect with people. Oh, yeah. Stubblefield. I've heard somebody's name like that before. Stubblefield. You've heard that name before, right? Stubblefield. No. I, I think I've heard that name. <laughs> no, I can't say that. I. Um, I have. Herring. James W. Herring. Herring? Yeah, this was that train wreck. This was that train wreck right here that happened. Sandra I want to try to find somebody that was in the 5th Georgia Cavalry. What is it? I want to try to find somebody that was in the 5th Georgia Cavalry. You know? To show uh, Jeff next time I see him. Militia. Like most of these are 1931, so it looks like these were after the Civil War. After? Yeah, because it says 1931. The war ended in 1865. I think that marker with the train wreck is down there. It's here. I know it's here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. But that's uh, interesting information. You don't know where it's at? It's somewhere around here. What about over there by those trees? There's a... Is it 
that marker over there by the tree. What's over there? What is that? That one? Yeah. That's probably a different thing. Oh. Hey, first Florida Calvary. I, I had a friend that asked me about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, didn't you? I got all of these. Hey, look, there's Marilyn. I like seeing this because, you know, like all the different states. Oh yeah, I like the, how they do that stuff. Hey, here's a drummer. Hey, this one was Alabama. This is Alabama. Oh, yeah? You know how... Huh? All right, so we have a captain uh, from the Mississippi Battalion uh, that was killed in 1864. Here's the Mississippi uh, marker that had 129 heroes that fought. Huh? Get to the flag. Hi, dude. Get the phone. Oh, the 4th Alabama Infantry right here. So they were... Yeah, they're relatives. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he all the way back, buried all the way out here by himself, you know? Why is it buried out here by himself? Yeah. Right next to, wait, Joseph R. Walker, Wesley, Jr. He is too. What? He's buried right here too. Why are they buried out here by himself? Yeah, James uh, 
uh, cheek right here. I'm not sure who that is either. It says farewell to all below my savior calls and I must go goodbye sweet friend. Oh, that's a good message. Huh? See like this one right here. J.P. Logan, 1849 to 1917. That's, that's crazy. That's why I like cemeteries. They're, they're just so fascinating. <laughs> the history, you know? Because I think down there they have the monument for Vietnam down here. Yeah. This is most uh, Confederate cemeteries. Up here. And then down there it talks about like the other war and honoring the there. Yeah. Yeah. You see, here's Texas with 87 heroes. Even though Texas wasn't necessarily a state during the Civil War. But it's still fought because they believe. You. You. What do those little things say? It's like a bunch of Huh? There's a whole bunch of these little book things. It's the F way. Same thing? Yeah. It's just giving you history about the Confederate uh, cemetery. How the women sat around and watched over their graves and stuff because they didn't really have much else to be able to have to do. Yeah. So they watched over their graves. Most of them. Protected them. Yeah. Here's the family of Ray, I guess. Sitting out there with her rifles waiting for somebody to do something. What's this? Why is it off the side of the road? Where are you? That one at the far end is the baby. Yeah, that's why I moved away. Yup. Why are they so close to the road like that? Well, I, yeah, I guess that's where the family put them. Mm -hmm. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. 64 heroes in the state Arkansas? of Arkansas. Great state of Arkansas. I want to go out to Arkansas one day. Arkansas? Yeah, what about you, baby? Um, timing of the month that we're going out there. <laughs> and they got really good restaurants. All right, so heroes from Missouri and Maryland. Huh? That's what I thought they were going to have today. Watch that, Andrew. You know? Barbecue. We're having a pretty good day, though. Well, yes, I've been having a really good time. Huh? I've been having an awesome time. It's, it's, it's fun to hang out in Marietta, too, because it's like... All right, um... All right, you guys, so we have reached a second or another part of the, the Confederate Cemetery. This is the hospital section. 62 heroes lie right here. What does the hospital section mean? In the hospital this right is where these soldiers died in a, a hospital. Right here? Yeah. In this well, lot? No, they died. So whatever hospital they were in, they died in that hospital and was later oh, buried here. Like, like the uh, train. So they could have been, they could have been in a hospital that was in Atlanta at some point, but a lot of the Confederate hospitals in Atlanta was later moved. You remember when we were doing that one down there in uh, Barnesville? Yeah. Uh, a lot of those hospitals was moving further south because of Union coming in. So they had to move, you know. Um, like most of these that probably died in the hospital, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how they may have perished. Yeah, 
What was that Marietta station? The train, the station, train station? station? Yeah, that. I mean, they, they uh, most of the, most of the, most of the soldiers was carried to hospitals by train. Um, that's why we did that Barnesville. Cause see that Barnesville was carrying that's that 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 train from Barnesville was heading south with wounded soldiers. Um, as another train was coming north to resupply the Confederates in the Battle of Atlanta, well, you know they didn't have cell phones, so they couldn't like call each other and be like, "Hey, watch out, here I come," you know. So they didn't have any way of really communicating, which led to a head-on collision where most of those wounded soldiers on that train that was coming from Barnesville was killed in that train wreck. Just like when I was opening up here, the Confederate cemetery here in Marietta was established in 1863. That was a hospital? Uh, no, it was established in 1863 after the train wreck in Emerson, Georgia, which is right over there near Cartersville. Yeah. There was a train wreck of wounded soldiers there that are 20 I don't know if they were wounded but 20 soldiers from Emerson uh, from Emerson on that train died 20 Confederate soldiers so in 1863 they established what we know of today as Marietta Confederate Cemetery so basically 20 Confederate soldiers started this big cemetery and then after the Civil War over 3,000 Confederates from you know the Battle of Lookout Mountain or the Battle of Atlanta, Battle of Chickamauga, you know what I'm saying, Battle of Resaca, a lot of them are, was dug up and reburied here after the war. And they didn't have headstones, you know, because they couldn't they couldn't create they couldn't create you know this granite for a headstone. You know, they didn't have that kind of people. So what they would have is like a wooden cross or a wood stake with the guy's name on it. Well, you know after a certain time of being outside in the weather, it eventually evaporates the writing. Yeah. And that's why you have so many unknown soldiers today. Interesting, huh? Very interesting fact. Very interesting fact. Like, see? So just imagine, I mean, this is this is concrete or this is granite right but imagine how this writing would look huh marble, marble. but imagine if this this wasn't marble but it was a wooden stake you couldn't tell anything on that how they write on it what do you mean how did they write their names on it i mean you still had you still had ink like they did back in the revolution where they did it no. you know what i'm saying uh, that's where the pen was originated. It was out of that little jar. They had a little, you know, stick look looking thing that had a little point on it with a feather. That you know, that's that's how our founding fathers signed the decoration was a pen like that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, um, I guess. I hey, look, there's one um, way up there in the grass, all by its little lonesome. Watch these things, baby. Watch that one. They're everywhere. <laughs> It'll just go with the bee sting that I got on my arm. Oh, well, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go out with you, hon. There's some right there, too. Huh? It's, they're all by their lonesome. What, what is going on here? Why is this little grave all by itself? Well, like I told you, I mean, this out. cemetery started in 1863, so. I, I just made it funny. You did. You always made it funny. I just made John H. Payne. Oh, your last name is Payne? Well, Mr. Payne. <laughs> John H. Payne. June 22nd, 1864. Mr. Payne, John. June 22nd. I believe that's the Battle of Cobb's Farm. Georgia in his 120th fight. 120th fight. Yeah, he was. How many times did you get a fight? He. Okay, so, so what they are, what they're saying. I um, I believe this guy right here 
uh, was killed at the Battle of Cops Farm. So what they're saying is he was in 129 engagements. So this was his final one at 129. That's a lot of battles. I'm not taking pictures because you like A, you're way out here. Buy a little lonesome. B, I don't have another flag for you. Well, we're going to come back out and get you a little flag, buddy. I'm just going to take my flag back. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back, little drummer boy. <laughs> no. I got it. 120th fight. He fought. So that 100... means he survived 120 not. 28 battles before he was killed on his 129 at Cobb's farm. It says in his 120th fight. 129th. Fight. 129th fight. You mean how, that's what I'm saying? This guy got yeah, in. Yeah, well, you got to think about it. He's been battling for almost four years. You see what I'm saying? Or it three years. He out of it, could he? <laughs> he was a strong fighter, apparently. I guess so. But wow, dude. Um, that's what I'm saying, that he made it through 128 engagements. On his 129th, he was killed. Wow. Which is probably telling you that God was probably just telling him it's time to come home. Then it kind of explain to me why he's very... No one is around. <laughs> Nobody. Just him. This is probably how the cookie falls, baby. Oh, I gotta go get him some flowers or something. Oh, for dude. Oh, tell her. I'll keep you in my prayers. I need to bring him back something. Good job, bud. Hey, dude. I got some friends. Those poor guys are sitting on the meeting anywhere. So this is another part of the hospital section. John A. Kilgore of the 26th, Georgia. These are all a part of the hospital. Why they put it right here instead of over there, huh? On top of them. What? Top what? Don't worry about the tree. It wasn't. I was just making sure it didn't dunk, knock on one of those little. Well, I'll move in a second. Nice. Like, look, see, 30 second. Like, look at this guy. Captain John Colvett, right? Of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Wounded at Chickamauga and died in Marietta. 1863. That's really, that's interesting. Yeah. They need to have somebody come out and clean this off. Though. Here's some of the doctors from the Civil War. Oh, wow. Did you get that guy's name? Yes, I did. William Dunn from Dooley. Oh, he was with the uh, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that one over there in the tree. Oh. He 
how I stay in trees. Like, oh, I just shade. shade over me. Nobody's bothering me. This poor dude out here, I can't stand the same There's nothing here. Hey, buddies. We just got done celebrating for you guys. Why are you hanging out in a tree? I don't know. Where is that? Huh? I think it's just a marker that they probably put here and these trees grew over it. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're probably got a better. Yeah. Uh, I think it's better if I was back this way. That's the city part. What? Huh? Is it, I think the rest of the Confederate is this side. I think that's going into the city. Hun? Yeah. Do you have a quarter or anything in your pocket? Do we have anything in the car I can put on his little grave right there before I snatch up one of my flags again? <laughs> like, George, give me your car. <laughs> I don't have any flags. You know I'll be back to see you. <laughs> we'll give him a, we we'll give him, we'll give him a flag. George like, hey, that's my flag. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy that he was in a 129 engagement. Yeah. I got a something before I can put it over. We'll get it for him, babe. No, well, apparently not many people put a lot of flags out anyway. Uh, hun, I don't, that's all we have. I'll find him something before I leave. Here's your camera. Come on, baby. That monument right there. Here we go. It was like it was supposed to be. Wait, is that for them? Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna get him one. Okay. I promise we'll come back out here. We have to. Because I want to put a flag out there next to the drummer. You know? Oh, of course. Or like a uh, drumstick? Hi, Bobby. What? Your viewers. <laughs> what? I oh, is it your viewers? <laughs> what about it? Oh, I thought you had enough here. <laughs> no, I'm just walking oh. around filming. Oh, okay. I'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix a lot of video with you. <laughs> People know how we are, man. Yeah. That's the bad thing. He's so serious. Huh? So serious. Hey, look, it's a pair of clippers. I know, right? What, what are you trying to do? It was us far, huh? You want me to turn my ear? Yes. Huh? Yes, I do. Visitor log. I bet you there's nothing in it. You think so? So that's the UDC, United Daughters of Confederacy. Okay, that's all chapter. You can see there's South Carolina. Hey, boys! <laughs> they got the cannon next to them. This too. little cannon served at the Georgia Military Institute from 1852 to 1864, then went into the Confederate Army and was captured on Sherman's March to Sea, 1864 through 1865, and held as a trophy of the of war until 1910, 1910, when it was returned by the United States government to the Confederate Cemetery at Marietta, Georgia. Huh. Now that is interesting. I see a lot of action. Six pounder. There's your South Carolina. They had 113 here. I bet you this one right here is North Carolina.
Yeah. Just Is like it? I said, North Carolina. Well, you know South Carolina will be next to North Carolina. Yeah. I mean, that's a gift right there. It's the Carolinas. It's, it's just crazy how there's this many unknown. You know? It's sad. Oh, I know. I kind of wish that we had a way that we could have kept record. Of it. DNA. So, unknown, unnumbered heroes. Unknown, unnumbered. So they don't even have a number. They just know that all these are better at unknowns. So there's not even an exact number of how many are unknown. That is crazy. Most times they even have a number. When you, when you put unknown or unnumbered, that's insane. That'd be a lot. That is a lot. Well, we've been through a lot of cemeteries with unknown, and I have never seen this many unknown. So it's crazy. That's why I always like visiting these guys. I love coming out here visiting these guys. Me too. Like, uh, it's peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. They're kind of like my big bros, you know? Well, yeah. It's like the family that you... Much. It's like my unknown family, you know. You We're never just... know. Some of them could. I mean, never, you know. Oh uh, yeah. You never know because how you fool them. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna eventually get that ancestry. Though. Huh? I'm eventually gonna do that ancestry. You need to. If these trees, it's hard. I that bet these great. trees are. You know that is. That is awesome. What are you? Taking a picture of the tree. For. I'm not taking a picture of the tree. I was just saying these trees are really old. I bet you. Well, I mean, a lot of these trees are probably still here from 1863. That's some. Um, look how old their bark is. And I don't mean a dog. I mean the bark on a tree. The tree stump bark. Tennessee. Tennessee. Good lord. Tennessee. 325 heroes. Hi, Tennessee. Tennesseans, how you doing, boys? <laughs> we we have tackled a lot in Tennessee. Yeah. Even Alabama. Cars in Tennessee. Huh? Because of, <laughs> a few cars because of Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, over there by Lookout. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lookout. Yeah, Lookout Mountain will destroy your car. Shoot, yeah, it will. Like this. Going up and down the mountains everywhere. <laughs> if you don't have a good <laughs> car, it will blow it. Low head casting and heartbeat. Yeah. There you go to the Confederate Cemetery. Does the people? It has a lot of people. That's when they dedicate it. Um, so, see that marker right there? Yeah. That's when they dedicated in 1908. That's a lot of people coming out here for that, ain't it? To be able to dedicate that. Look at those little yeah. kids. Oh, wow. If these little pictures like this could just tell a story. That's again. There's Bill Yope. A railroad porter. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Porter? Yeah. Oh, oh. What's a porter? He worked on the railroads. Oh, okay. He drove the... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he did stuff with the railroad. So I think that is 
is on this side. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as I was walking around and exploring the cemetery and sharing this with you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, send me a comment or even message me. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. With that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys again soon.